in this class we are going to discuss about how to design a bcd adder so as we know that the process of bcd addition now in this class we are going to design a circuit a combinational circuit to do that procedure of bcd addition we know that in bcd addition if carry is generated or the sum is exceeded 9 then we need a correction that means correction by adding 6 that circuit first of all we need to design that means for example if you are adding two 4 bit bcd numbers so then the sum for example having a carry or having uh, some exceeding value than 9 then you need a correction with addition of 6 so that circuit i am going to design now see here in the previous classes in the starting classes you are having bcd addition process in that addition process we are just adding two bcd numbers if carry is generated or uh, the sum exceeded 9 we are going to add 6 for correction after correcting whatever sum is there that we are going to take as actual sum so here for example we are having 4 bit bcd numbers means we can simply add by using 4 bit adder we are having a ic 74 ls283 is a ic to add 4 bit numbers so by using that ic we can add two 4 bit numbers but in bcd addition if error is occurred how we have to follow means that ic don't know how to follow for that we need to design a logic circuit so that logic i am going to design here see here this is our sum sum is a 4 bit sum i am taking so for example if you are having 4 bit sum that sum may be either 000 or 001 so like that for 4 bit combination we, we are going to get 16 combinations from 0 to 15 like this that means so if you take in this as sum this sum is having 4 bits that means msb is s4 and lsb is s1 so you are having 16 combinations for that 4 bits that is 0 0 0 on 2 1 1 1 1 so now if your sum exceeds 9 or you are having carry then you need to get some solution for that that you need to treat as error first of all if you want to detect that error detecting circuit so your problem definition now is to detect greater than 9 so now my problem definition is to detect greater than 9 so my output must resemble so 1 when greater than 9 is there my output must enable when this sum exceeds 9 so this is my output y i take in so if my sum exceeds 9 then this output going to show you 1 so now this is not greater than 9 so this is also not greater than 9 so this is also not greater than 9 so here all cases you are getting 0 from 9 onwards so greater than 9 that means in 9 case also you are getting 0 from 10 onwards you are getting 1 why because your circuit need to enable whenever you exceeded your sum exceeded 9 so here you exceeded 9 so here also you exceeded 9 from 10 onwards you exceeded 9 so here you are getting once here so now for this functionality this is your functionality to uh, detect greater than 9 for this functionality if you want logic circuit means definitely you need to consider k map so here i am considering k map for this functionality how many variable k map i need to consider means definitely four variable k map i need to consider because to get that output y you take in reference of four variables so four digits that is s4 s3 s2 s1 so that's why so as k map is dependent upon input combination so here my input combination is of four variables i am taking four variable k map like this so see here it's having 16 boxes so now in vertical also i am going to separate as four four boxes totally i'm having 16 boxes here in my k map the combination is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 
and here is 0 0 0 1 and I am skipping 1 0 and 1 1. So now here so where you are having 1 means at 1 0 1 0 place you are having 1 that means at 1 0 1 0 place here you are having 1 and 1 0 1 1 place so here you are having 1 and 1 1 0 0. So 1 1 0 0 place means here you are having 1 and another place 1 1 0 1 place that means here you are having 1 and another place you are having so here you are having 1 1 1 0 place at 1 1 1 0 place you are having another 1 so here that that is that so 1 1 and uh, 1 0 so this is the combinational cell so you can take here and final one you are having at all ones place that means here you are having so this side 1 1 and top side 1 1 so that means this set now this is the time for prime implicant grouping now any octet is possible means no octet is possible because only six number of ones are here so now any quarter is possible means as see a quarter is possible here and you can group another quarter like this by overlapping these two ones again you can uh, group another quarter. So finally you are having two prime implicates two quarters here that quarters values by taking in addition you are going to get y value. Now my y value is equivalent to so here y is equivalent to first prime implicate value I am taking sidewise it is covering only one cell so that is why S4, S3 I am taking so top is covering four cells so there is no combination in all those four cells so definitely you can remove that case so you just consider this prime implicant sideways this is covering two cells two cells means you need whenever more than one cell is covered you need to see for combination so this you need to see for combination here one one is similar so this one one will represent s4 always so s4 i am taking here so now so you can see top wise top wise also covering two cells see the combination in combination one is common that first one represents s2 s4 s2 so now totally your output is equivalent to s4 s3 plus s4 s2 this is nothing but greater than 9 logic so whatever if you are giving s4 s3 s2 s1 so your logic to uh, detect greater than 9 is y is equal to s4 s3 plus s4 s2. So now I am taking a 4 bit adder. So this is my 4 bit adder. For this 4 bit adder I am giving 2 4 bit numbers. So that is a and b. For this A, I am having A4, A3, A2 and A1 because A is a 4 bit number. Another 4 bit number I am taking B. That B is also having 4 bits. That 4 bits are B4, B3, B2 and B1. Now, so for this 4 bit adder, if you are adding four, four bits with four bits, definitely you are going to get four bits or again you may get a carry. So definitely minimum four bits, maximum five bits you are going to get as you are sum. So if any carry is there, I am taking that as carry. So this is carry after addition. So now this is your S4 and your S3 s2 s1 this is your sum line if this sum exceeds 9 or carry is generated in this case you need to add 6 for this sum so now i am taking this sum line with some extinction so i am making this logic s4 s3 so by taking end gate in between s4 and s3 i am making like this s4 and s3 then next s4 and s2 so here is s4 and here is 
S2. S4 and S2 I am having. So, here also I am considering another end gate. So, I am just adding these two. I am just adding these two. When I am adding these two, I am adding this carry case also. I will explain why I am taking that carry now. So, now I take in this carry also. The meaning of this is this functionality is to detect so greater than 9. So, up to here to detect get greater than 9 or in which case we need correction means. So, in carry generated case also if carry is equal to 1 in BCD addition then also we need correction of uh, that code by adding 6. So, that is why I take in that carry case here. So, now in any case if this output is equivalent to 1 then I am taking another 4 bit adder. I am taking another 4 bit adder like this. This is the same IC which we used previously that is 74LS283. So, 4 bit adder. So, for this 4 bit adder if correction is needed then we need to add with the 6 otherwise same sum will be the final sum. So, here I am considering this as like this. So, like this I am considering. So, whatever output is there that output I connected in two, two ways. So, at two lines and whatever another 2 bits parts is there another 2 bit input is there first bit input and last bit input I grounded that means always these two are is equivalent to 0 0. Now see here for example after adding these two bits your sum is exceeded 1 0 1 0 that means 10 right. So, it is exceeded 9 then what will happen? So, 1 into 0 you are getting 0, next 1 into 1 you are getting 1 in this line. For R gate any one of the input is 1, you are going to get output as 1. If this is 1, you are getting 1 1 here. So, this 4 bit adder is going to add this sum lines with 6. That means your correction is going to done by using this 4 bit adder. Then whatever output of this 4 bit adder is there that is taken as actual sum. So, now see here for example, you are uh, you are uh, whatever first sum is there that is in limit that means less than 9 but carry is generated. In this case also in BCD addition you know that you are going to do correction with addition of 6. So, in this case also, so even though you are getting this gates output as 0 because of this carry this logic circuit output is going to 1 here and you are adding 6. That means if you are getting C as 1 or you are getting 1 from this 9 greater than circuit then you need to add 6 for this sum. Otherwise for example carry is not generated and your sum is also in this range of uh, below 9 then what is going to happen is so 1 into 0 0 1 into 0 0 your carry is also 0. So then so output of this R gate is 0 then this uh, same 0 is going to represent in this 2 bits totally this 4 bit adder is going to add this sum with 0. If, if you are adding that sum with 0 is there any change? No change. Whenever you are exceeding 9 or carry is generated, then only the circuit will detect that this is the knowledge circuit here. This circuit will detect that and it is going to provide addition of 6. This is about designing of BCD adder by using 4 bit adders.